Hi guys, please join me and for work I will use 1.4 mm cachet hook and a ball of 100% mercerized cotton yarn. And today you will see how to make a simple floral motif and how to join them together in large piece of work. Let's crochet the motif. I will begin from the foundation ring. Make a chain of 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And join the chain in the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. My foundation ring is ready. Let's crochet the first round. 1, 2, 3 chains to bring up the yarn and double crochet into the ring. I will crochet 23 stitches. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. In total it should be 23 stitches. I am done 23 double crochet stitches into the ring. Let's look at the back side. As you can see I have already removed a long piece of yarn. Insert the hook into the third chain stitch in the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. Round 1 is ready. Let's crochet round 2. Make chain of 3 to bring up the yarn instead of first stitch and yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the next stitch. Make double crochet. 1, 2 and 3. I have done 3 double crochet in a row. Then chain of 8 for the chain space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 chains, make 4 double crochet in a row, 1, 2, 3, and 4, chain of 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 4 double crochet in a row, 2, 3 and 4 chain of 8 and so on keep working this way till the end of this round i'm about to complete this round to complete this round work with a slip stitch into the third chain stitch on the beginning of this round round 2 is ready let's crochet round 3 it is going to be the last round of my motif. Work with a slip stitch into the next stitch. Continue, make a chain and single crochet into the same stitch that I did a slip stitch into. Then single crochet through the next stitch. And let's crochet the petals for my floral motif. Work into the chain space. Make 8 double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, then chain of 3 for the chain space. 1, 2, 3, and 8 double crochet into the same chain space 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then two single crochet in a row. I skip the first stitch and single crochet into the second stitch. 
and single crochet through the next stitch. Continue working. Make 8 double crochet into the next chain space. I will start and you will continue with your own. 1, 2, 3 and so on. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. My floral motif is almost ready. Let's complete this round. Insert the hook into the single crochet. Make a slip stitch. To secure the yarn by making a chain. And that's it, my motif is ready. I turn the work to the back side. And I remove all yarns along the stitches on the back side. My cute flower is ready. You can use it like a separate motif or it could be a part of big project such as lace or combine it with another small motif like a leaf. And now I show you how to join such flowers together to create a large piece of work. As you can see I have already joined some flowers. I have already joined six flowers. Here how they look like when you join them. Let's look at my current motif. I didn't finish it and right now while making the last round I show you how to join it to another tree. I will join it in four joining points. For the joining I will use three chain spaces and using single crochet stitches. And now I show you how to join my current motif to another three. According to my pattern I need to do three chain space. Instead of this I'm making a chain. I take the ready petal in another motif. Let's count the second chain stitch. One, two. I insert the hook into the second chain stitch, make single crochet, then chain and work on the current motif. Make double crochet eight times. One, two and so on till you will get eight double crochet into the chain space and so on. Let's stop at the first joining point. I have done joining using chains and single crochet. The next joining points will be the same. So as you understand, I replace the middle chain stitch in the chain space to the single crochet. Then you should continue working on the petal to single crochet and so on. And you should start the next petal with your own. Then I will show you how to crochet the second joining point. In this case I joined two motifs together already. I have done all my stitches and now I just need to join. Instead of three chain space make a chain then insert the hook from the back side into the chain stitch that I already did single crochet into. Make single crochet. Then make a chain and continue working on my petal in the current motif. Make 8 double crochet. 1, 2 and so on. I have done two joining points. 1 and 2. Then you should crochet the third one and the fourth one. You should repeat in the same way as I did here. You should crochet with your own. It is very easy to make so you don't need special skills and you don't need to know the pattern. So that's it my cute floral doily is ready. In this video you have seen how to make floral motif and how to join them together in large piece of work. 
you can use it like a separate motif or it could be a part of lace project or just simple project where you combine them to create composition or a doily like I did in my video. In my case, it could be perfect for the coaster or just decoration for the table. You can use leftover yarns to create this motif or variegated yarn. It looks very fun. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time and bye.